Hey there, this is Ona with Art of Awakening. I'm coming to you from outside of Marquette, Michigan, uh, just before the summer solstice here at 2019, a couple days before. It's a pretty intense week, just had a full moon, and looking forward to the first eclipse of the summer coming up in a couple weeks. And of course, the summer solstice. And um, yeah, so it's, like I said, intense. Um, but I just wanted to share with you um, this this beautiful beautiful lady slipper or moccasin flower and um, there's several of them here that I'm sitting sitting with I've been sitting with them for a little bit and I uh, just kind of wanted to share what they were telling me um, when I was looking at them and spending time with them and of course we have the beautiful flower right and it's pink you know this this heart chakra kind of deal it's actually a very sexual looking flower um, so there I'm so, I'm so I'm kind of sad because there were two over here and and uh, one of them my dog knocked it off and I think the, the flower is still I hope um, still gonna be okay but um, I'm hoping it was already fertilized but anyway there were there were there were two of those and um, so what they were they were telling me as I, I as I was just sitting with them um, was really about love because it took a while for me to notice the last year's seed pod was still on there and I opened it up a little bit to see if there were seeds in there I guess there weren't they, they probably dropped off and hopefully 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 some will sprout next year into another beautiful um, lady slipper orchid. Uh, but what they were saying was that everything, everything that comes at us in life is either love or it's the desire for love, right? Um, and, you know, the flower, <laughs> the flower in itself is a desire for love. The life is a desire for love. But even, even some of the things that look to us maybe devoid of life, right? Um, stem from a desire for love and that when we accept everything that comes in as stemming ultimately from love because what a desire for love does is it spurs into action it catalyzes action towards love and sometimes that goes a little backwards. Sometimes it creates actions that are actually um, appear to be quite violent or or just not loving at all. But if you really follow through to kind of the the events that led to us, you're you're always going to find some. You know, it's going to be a perceived absence of love. But if you think ab about that even deeper, it, you know, it's that belief in separation, right? But if the desire for love wasn't there, then the belief in separation wouldn't be catalyzing these actions. It would be like, so what? So if we look beyond the desire for separation and see that underneath it is really the desire for love I don't know about you but it changed you know changes my perspective a little bit on things so I want to thank the lady slipper for this this beautiful beautiful message today and just want to wish you well this week this week of the full moon and the solstice and this is the beginning of a big huge cycle and uh, I think there's going to be beautiful things happening henceforth. All right. So take it easy. I love you all. And have a wonderful solstice. We'll catch you again soon. Good girl, Jazz.